Subaru's always been a very environmentally conscious company. But in about 2002, we were giving, um, we were having a meeting with our parent company, Fuji Heavy Industry from Japan, an environmental meeting, and they challenged us to become zero landfill before 2006. And our associates understand their process so intimately. They have such an intimate knowledge of what they're doing. So we went to them and we asked them, okay, in, in your process, what would you do to reduce some of this waste? Uh, we had to go looking for where that would come from. And of course, steel being our largest commodity here in stamping, uh, we looked at the steel first. That brings us back to the point of the connection of how do you get from, out, from the one small environmental team in this one directive to 3,700 people that are in this facility in, in 3.8 million square feet and 832 acres. And so then we went out and uh, connected with people outside. We, we use Heritage Interactive Services, a company that helps us find recyclers for all this material. You know, so when they approached us, we were very, very interested from just the innovation and the way that, the different way that they were planning to think about how that was, how we were even going to implement a program like that since it wasn't even done anywhere in the United States at that point. And then the next thing were, were pallets, and we were generating about 16 pounds of pallets for every car that we generated. We send them to a recycler, and they'll chip them up and make um, mulch for your yards. Uh, we have a small percentage of waste that we send to uh, energy from waste facility and so we're now we're looking to see what's in there that we can get rid of. And so we looked at it and we think well a lot of that is our, our paper towels from the restrooms and our cafeteria waste, our you know lunch waste, things like that. And we thought well you know we could compost this. Uh, we In 2000 we were generating or we were discharging, throwing away 49 pounds of waste for every car that we built. Our target this year is 0 0.07 pounds of waste for every car we build. In. So for that small percentage that we have that we can't recycle, we send that to Covanta Energy Services in Indianapolis and they'll take it and they will uh, burn it in their boilers, generate um, steam that turns the turbines that powers downtown Indianapolis. And over the last five years, we've enjoyed a $10 million benefit over the cost of our program. So when people say it costs too much to be environmentally friendly, on Monday mornings I put more trash on my curb on Monday mornings to go to a landfill than this 3.8 million square foot facility does. There is, you can get a real high from this because it is, it's fun.